So it's another day here in Napoli and we are now headed to the port to catch a ferry to go to an island. Takes about 30 minutes with the fast ferry. So yeah. Castel del Novo and it used to be for protecting the city in the olden days so the harbor this side so this is the harbor where you get a ferry to different islands and we are going to this one Capri Island must be the most beautiful, beautiful, stunning island I've been to. No, there's Santorini, but Santorini is so picturesque and stuff. At this one, there's something different about it. The, just the way the people are enjoying themselves and, oh. Beautiful, beautiful place. So we are now in a train because uh, Capri's main square or center is up on a hill. So one needs to take this train to ascend up there to get a better view of the island as well and just enjoy the main square of the island. Wow. This place feels like um, Cape Town. I don't know if it's the hills, but something about it reminds me of Cape Town a little bit. What do you guys think? You can get lost and not be bothered at all. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Yes. So the island of Capri. Wait. So the island of Capri is famous for its lemons and there's liquid drink they make called limoncello. It's very very famous here it says to originate from here so yeah so we are going to have lunch now in capri a restaurant called panorama hopefully the view is good as the name suggests it's really really hidden the corridors and finding it you have to use google maps because otherwise it's really difficult to find panorama area yes yes wow it's like a garden 
you have tomatoes there, tomatoes, tomatoes, whatever you say. The place is really, really nice. The view is stunning. So the view to die for us. So my dish, I opted for seafood risotto. It's so so good, so good. Mm. Mm. Flavorful, flavorful. Mm. Oh, the flavors of the ocean. <laughs> So my risotto has clams. These are clams here. Mine is rice. And there's mussels. There's octopus. There's prawns. There's calamari here. So really, really, really good flavors. Really good. So we just finished having lunch. Late, late lunch. And just taking a walk around the garden here at the restaurant. My risotto was super good. I'm just so stuffed right now. I feel like I want to do a siesta now. <laughs> siesta is the nap that all Italians they do after their lunch hour or so. Then they go for a nap or just resting time. So normally after lunch, most places will just be closed or the city will be so quiet because everybody's doing their siesta. And I guess I'm getting the bug. <laughs> so yeah, that's about this restaurant. A beautiful place worth seeing. Panorama restaurant. Uh, to me is more local compared to Capri I think Capri has a bit more to tourists than this one might be mistaken it might be the time of the day or the day that we're here but yeah that's the vibe I'm picking up because it's not a weekend it's a weekday as well so perhaps those factors could also uh, play a role but nevertheless, I think it's really beautiful. Yeah, just one needs to walk a lot. Need comfortable shoes. So 
humid. So, so humid. Oh, God. I hope this viewpoint is worth it. Shall I see? But even if it wasn't, at least I did some workout. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Let me turn the camera. So that's the viewpoint. We can all agree it's worth it. Wow. How beautiful is this? So, so, so pretty. So, what do you think, guys? Is the view worth the hike up? <laughs> oh my god totally worth it totally worth it i believe we can all agree on that <laughs> wow here the world has beautiful places the world has beautiful places and this coast is really one of them so yeah i think prosida is really 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 stunning it has it has a totally different vibe from capri like i said earlier but it's really worth seeing of course this amazing view <laughs> so yeah i would recommend this island Proshida. it's really really beautiful yeah. <laughs> Super. These ruins. This place would make such a nice restaurant. So we're leaving the viewpoint now. It's really getting packed with our groups, tour groups. So we made it just on time when it was empty. Now it's totally packed with group tours so yeah time to go we were so lucky so we're about to have our late lunch we we're so lucky to find a place that took us or accepted us because here after lunch hours all restaurants they will be closed for a break and reopen only for dinner like around Five fish or so. So yeah, we having lunch now. Octopus salad for starters. Then we just sit in here. Mmm, swordfish. So lunch was good for Lina. They lunch, early dinner. Now we're just strolling around and slowly head back. So we are back from Roshida Island and what a good way to end the day is this coffee with ice so until then it's goodbye for now guys thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't like and just leave a comment below what you enjoyed the most or whatever you want to ask me so bye bye